I recently made these 3D models using mid-journey images as inspiration. As of the release of this video, there isn't yet an easy way to get high fidelity 3D models from any AI image generators, so I had to use my modeling skills and put in some time to make them. In this video, I'll briefly share the concepts behind these 3D models and the process of making them. My current body of work explores how technology is reshaping humanity. I see overtones of ego in the efforts to colonize Mars. Thus, the Mars rover flaunts Rolls-Royce luxury and has many excessive features. Considering future work life, I envision a shift towards ultimate comfort, possibly leading to us working fully lying down by the year 2053. While designing this piece, I was influenced by Tom Sachs's bricolage aesthetic. Lastly, the uploading paradox piece questions if a mind transferred to a machine retains its original identity or becomes an entirely new entity. Here's one of the original mid-journey images I generated to serve as inspiration for the Mars rover. I made the rover in Rhino. The Rolls-Royce body and the car tires were available free online. I've unfortunately lost track of where these items came from, so I can't credit the authors. If you by chance made the body or tires, please let me know and I'll give you credit in this video's description. These are the mid-journey images I made to ideate for the desk. And as you can see in this time lapse, I made the form in Rhino using a mix of sub D and regular NURBS modeling. Then I refined it in ZBrush. The decaying musculature came from this form I downloaded from 3dscans.com called The Corpse of Rene of Chalon. I used ChatGPT to create a Blender script to make the vertical curvilinear strands. If you would like to gain access to that Blender script, follow the link in the description. I'll end with a couple of quick final thoughts. I've been sculpting for about 20 years now and coming up with ideas is always the hardest part of new projects. It's been amazing to see how much mid-journey has accelerated my ideation process. Of course, anyone who gets lazy and relies on the AI to think for them will get poor results. But I've found that when I combine my actively thinking mind with AI, the results are pretty decent. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.